Hey guys, what up, guys? Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple has officially released iOS 16.5. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this software update. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things you should do right after you update to iOS 16.5. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, aside from iOS 16.5, Apple also released today other updates as well for the Mac. Mac OS 13.4 is now available for the Mac. iOS 16.5, of course, is available for the iPhone. iPad OS 16.5 is available for the iPad. Watch OS 9.5 is available for the Apple Watch. TV OS 16.5 is available for the Apple TV. And of course, for those devices that do not support iOS 16, iOS 15.7.6 and iPadOS 15.7.6 has now been released for those devices as well. And now the build number for this one is the same one as the RC2 that we saw on Monday. So if you're running RC2, let's go into the about section here. The latest build number, there it is. iOS 16.5, the build number for the official release is 20F. 6, 6 and that's going to be the final build again i do want to talk about a few bug fixes and things you should do right after you update and i want to start off with things you should definitely do right away now the first thing is of course you want to make sure you update your apple watch your apple tv so you want to go ahead and make sure you check out the apple watch application of course you want to go into general and then go into software updates and watch os 9.5 should be available for your apple watch so make sure you download that now for the home pods home pod os uh, 16.5 is available for the home pods as well as of today so you want to go into the home application here you want to click on these three dots on the top here go into home settings and then go into software updates and a new home pod os 16.5 should be available for you to download for your home pods now for those of you that may have a new carrier update available you want to do that as well so every time you update your iphone to a new software update you want to go into settings here then you want to go into general and then you want to go into the about section now not everyone will get a carrier update but if you do you want to make sure you go into the about section because here you'll see a pop-up on your screen that would ask you if you want to update your carrier settings of course you want to make sure you update your carrier settings for better network compatibility performance call quality performance overall improvements so yeah make sure you check out those few things right after you update make sure you update your apple watch your home pods your apple tv and everything else now of course this software also includes new features including a brand new wallpaper any new wallpaper category for pride so right here we have a new pride wallpaper which has an awesome animation let's go ahead and add this one here and show you what this looks like it has a dark and light mode but look at the animation isn't that really cool right there it is you can download that wallpaper or add that wallpaper to your wallpapers on the lock screen with iOS 16.5 and there's a new watch face to go along with it as well so if we go into the Apple watch application we go into watch faces here are the new Apple watch pride watch faces as well so we have both light and dark mode available for the new watch face which is now available on watch OS 9.5 now there's also some new things happening in the news application in case you didn't know there's a new sports tab here right in the center of the application for all the sports fans lovers out there so we have some new features and improvements within this software as well of course so now i want to shift my attention over to a lot of the bug fixes within ios 16.5 but before we do i wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors k school now i've been using k school cases over the last several months i'm sure you guys have seen the cases laying around the studio this is the magic stand case magnetic stand which allows you of course to watch movies and TV shows, prop it up for FaceTime calls. It is very, very useful, very nice looking design case. I don't interrupt my MagSafe accessory experience or charging because I can just adapt it to the back and the magnets on the Magic Stand actually improve the user experience when using MagSafe. Now, of course, it also protects your camera. It also protects your screen. Build quality is amazing. The stand feels very, very sturdy. It's not gonna fall off easily or anything like that. It's available in multiple colors to match your iPhone, like gold, purple, even clear clear which is one of my favorites and black which is also another one of my favorites as well case cool has now introduced Klarna which if you're a buyer within the US or Europe you'll have time to receive your product and try it out for a few days before you even pay for it and meanwhile you still have your 14 days return policy for purchase definitely definitely something I highly recommend if you're looking for a case that's practical and useful thank you to case school for sponsoring today's video now in terms of bug fixes there's quite a bit to talk about here number one if 
we go into settings here, go into general and go into the about section, some users were not seeing this beta update toggle populate for them on the latest iOS 16.5 RC1. RC2 fixed that and of course the official release did it as well. Now for those of you who encounter any issues with Spotlight not providing the correct information or no information at all, Spotlight also has been addressed. So there are a few bugs fixed there as well. Now if you had the issue where when you initiate a FaceTime call and you hang up, the volume on your iPhone went up to 100%. That also has been addressed here with the latest iOS 16.5. So if you're watching a YouTube video at about 50% volume you had an incoming call via FaceTime and then you hang up and then that volume went up to 100 I encountered that bug and many of you have as well and iOS 16.5 also addresses that issue here as well now on Apple's release note Apple mentions that screen time has also been addressed here this time around screen time had an issue where if you had screen time on a child's device sometimes screen time will turn off automatically on its own the entire schedule would just disappear so that's something that Apple has addressed here with iOS 16.5 and last but not least another one of the bugs is CarPlay so CarPlay on iOS 16.4 would not load some of the content and even in the beta form so iOS 16.5 the final release will fix issues with your car playing now last but not least i want to shift my attention over to apple music because apple music received a new feature called set list so set list basically allows you to see any artist that may be having an upcoming concert here as you can see right here this is sam smith we have a new tab here with carousel with current location it'll show you if this artist will have any concerts around you you can search by cities and countries as you can see right there we also have the calendar being displayed here if you choose a day you can also also go ahead and purchase tickets directly within Apple Music. You can add it to your calendar. You also get the address to the venue and even the Sasham extension will be displayed there at the bottom. So a new section added to Apple Music as well called Set List is now available to track your favorite artists, the concerts and what they're doing around the world when they're going to be presenting. So yeah, very, very cool feature here added into Apple Music as well, integrated within Apple Maps as well, by the way. So there you guys have it. These are some of the things you should definitely do right after you update. I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you'll be updating and i'll see you guys on the next one peace